Alright well, guys, GS7 here and welcome to another video on this channel. Today I have for you the second part of the two oldest and youngest squads. You seem to like the youngest one so I thought I'll bring out the oldest one for you the next day just because I know how much you'd like to watch that one as well. And I'd like to do other squads as well, just uh, maybe some different ones, maybe five star skiller squads and stuff like that. If you, do, if you do have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah, I will start off saying this team isn't as is it going to be as fun to play with? Obviously, I haven't played with it before I make the team and show you, so it's not going to be fun to play with because the pace is going to be considerably low. Anyways, let's get into it. So, first of all, we have in goal, we do have the man who is over 40 years old, nearly double Pickford's age, who was in the last squad, Shay Given. So, in September the 18th, he did play against Crystal Palace where they lost 4 1. And he was 40 years, 4 months and 29 days, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, so 7 years, 7 months on for that, so he is 41 now, Shea Given, 41 years old, I mean, quite an incredible, or he'll be nearly 41, yeah, nearly 41 I think, but yeah, still going at that age, it must be getting very hard for him, so then we have the three centre backs that combined have ridiculous pace, not even 99 combined, I think 40, 80, actually just over 99 combined. We'll start off with John O'Shea. John O'Shea, he's been around for a long old time, did get the downgrade, he has got a gold card, decided to buy a silver card as he did get the downgrade, so why not? I'm never going to buy any downgrades any other time, so EA brought him out for a reason, so let's use him. So, um, John O'Shea to start off with. 35 years of age, where he did play on April the 1st, which he played this season. Does that mean? Does that mean the last? I think that's the last time he's played. So, 35 years of age, 11 months. So, nearly 36. John O'Shea. Obviously, look at these stats: 33 pace, 33 shooting. They have Gareth McCauley, who's 37, when he played on April the 4th, which was a few days ago as well. In um, a 2-0 loss to Watford. Well, they can't expect to win if they're playing players who are this age. I mean, you don't see them playing. I don't know if how much time they do actually get, but you can't expect to be winning games too often if you have got these very old, 37 years old defenders playing. And then third, we have Wazileski. Wazileski, that's what I'll go with. Wazileski, 36 years of age. When's his birthday? Yes, yeah, so he still will be 36 years of age. And of course, um, lost, he, he played in a 2 0 loss to Everton. Probably hasn't played since, but because Everton are doing good now. So let's go on to the midfielders. And you can see his Fossey Mensa from the youngsters. We have Carrick and Gareth Barry. Carrick still going strong, to be honest with you. Even at his age, he's never been amazed in what Sir Alex Ferguson always thought of him. He has won so much in his time, but. Uh, still playing strong, that's why Man United are probably still going bad because you want someone who's younger than, how old is he, 35 years of age. 35 years, 8 months, so get only not too long away from the 36 year mark now. And he last played in the 1-1 draw at Everton, which was the most recent game for Manchester United as well. And then next to him we do have Gareth Barry, who played in the same match, 36 years and a month, so he's 36 now. So you'd have thought them two would be seeking on retirement not too long. I think Gareth Barry did he reach 600, 600 um, gains I think it was. And then next up we do have George Boyd. George Boyd, he's never been a huge class. I think he's been at numerous clubs in his career. Doesn't look that good of a card. Did have to pay 2.4k for him because I mean there's not many on the market. He's 31 years of age. He did play against in. The, he did play in the 1-0 win over Stoke, which was their most recent free fixture as well. And so he's getting on. Yeah, the left mids and right mids aren't as old as the rest of them because I wanted to get it to the one position, and so that's the only way of doing it. Even though they are a bit younger than what you could add different players if you put centre mids in there. But next up we have Ashley Young, which you may not think he's that old. 
He is in fact. Um, so I was going to go Stuart Downham, but he's got a cam card. I was going to go Chris Bunt, but he's got a left back card. So we had to. We're left with Ashley Young, who's 31 years, eight months was when he last was how old he was when he did play in the Everton fixture, which obviously was the most recent fixture as well. 31 years old. His career seemed to flew by, but obviously it probably does seem like that because of who he is. Never done that much, really, Ashley Young. And then next up, I was I had to put him in, so I put him in the can spot, and that is Joey Barton. Joey Barton um, has been around. He was at Rangers. You, there's, a, there's a Rangers card on here. He's been at Rangers in the recently. Um, and he is 34 years and seven months since when they played Stokes. City as well, so see, 34 years and 7 months, that is how old Joe Barton is, so again it's a very, very high, it's at least everyone's at least 30 as you'd expect really, but it is what it is, I mean going on to the final two um, I could add a different player apart from one of these two but the first one we are going to go for is Crouch and then we'll get to the other one in a second so, Peter Crouch, obviously been around for a long time now, 36 years old, still playing strong for Stoke City, obviously playing the 1-0 loss to Burnley. 36 years and two months. So, Peter Crouch, 53 pace on here, looking very nice. And then I've got the SPC, Jermaine Defoe. So, he's, out of all these players, he's definitely going the strongest, Jermaine Defoe. Um, SPC, Jermaine Defoe, Jermaine Defoe. I could have put Zlatan, but I haven't got the coins to put Zlatan in. I would have put Zlatan in otherwise. Or Steam Pienaar. But he's left mid. Uh, Ricky Lamb, but I could have put in. But I decided to put in Jermaine Defoe because there's not much difference in age between Lambert and Jim Defoe. And so Defoe and I've got the SBC. So I thought we put Defoe and there's more chance of scoring a goal in this game. And so it's that as a team. The pace is very minimal. Don't know what the lower highest pace is. Probably Ashley Young with 81. 67, 55, 79. Yeah, so Ashley Young, highest with 81. So. Because he is, the, I think he's probably the youngest one as well. 85, yeah, he probably is the youngest. But overall, the team looks quite nice, and I'll let's get into a match. Bro, oh, Martial, Sigurdsson, Ali, Ashley Cole, with a very nice card, with a shadow card on as well. Yeah, very very nice overall team. Your standard defence as well, but we'll see if we can do anything. Not expecting much. Barton Crouch. And Defoe's away. Jermaine Defoe. Very early on. What have I done? Should have scored. Don't know why he's doing sub already. Oh, headed from Wazoleski. And here's Crouch. Oh, good save. Crouch! Oh! Oh, good save. Crouch and Defoe, the former Spurs partnership. Somehow he's kept it. Oh, good save from Shade Given there. Playing George Boyd. And it's a good turn. Oh, what a save from Shea Given again. Oh, what a save, Shea Given. What a goalie. Oh. Half time, we've been the worst team as you'd expect because this guy's team is quite good, but overall, not too bad. 0 0 half time. We can build upon it. There's Defoe. Defoe! Defoe! Oh, I thought we had enough space to get our way. It's well played. Young. Carrick. Barton. Young. Barton. Young. 
couch. Oh. We're all over the place. That oh, was a good challenge just to try and get the ball stopped. But it's not stopped and it's one now. <sighs> oh, here we go. This is where it really kicks in. The stamina of these old players is not there. And so they're going to build on that now. And you'd expect him to come away with the victory. Oh, that's a good head from Crouch. And Defoe's away here. Defoe! Defoe! It's brilliant from Barton, I think, into Defoe. And then a great finish. So these close them in the later stages as well. They're going to be get better, but Crouch. He's away from by. You're going to have to hit it. Cool, that's a good hit. Might have been going in. This came out to Kante. He's got the head up. What a save from Shea Gibbon. Twelve play from Crouch. Full time. Extra time we're going. But a good match here overall. That's a good ball. And here is Defoe. He's played in and Barton probably should have made that 2 1. And here is Crouch. Oh, how's he got that? Players are out of energy now. They're really struggling. Penalties are probably our best option. Unless we can hold it in their half. No, yes. Oh, he's in with Kante in the last minute. He's missed. On flicks through, and here's Defoe. And Peter Crouch. Couldn't quite get there. But we've gone to penalties. To be fair, that's a big achievement already. A win would be even more sweet. We score the first penalty, Jermaine Defoe. And he scores with Giovinco. Next up, Peter Crouch. And he saved it on the line. And he's gone left. And here is Barton. He saved again. I think it's just the quality of the take is this. The difference here. He scores again. 3-1. We already have to score. Otherwise we're out. Or we're lost, should I say. Sorry. So it's 3-2. Here and he's in the post. So we have to score again. George Boyd. Goal. Save it and we're back in. Otherwise they take the win. And Skilfi Sigurdsson. Against Shea Given. And he's blasted it in the net. We have lost on penalties. Yeah, it was a bit of the better team. Anyways, that's the video. If you do want to see any other suggestions of um, games, etc., please do let me know in the comment section down below or any teams you want me to use. I will probably do them. If you did enjoy, please leave a like rating. Please subscribe. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.